Hi, and welcome to the Incredible Life of Cat. Today I have some hygiene empties and I have some home, you know, home products, you know, detergent and stuff. I did want to introduce my little camera lady, Sita, and she has Peanut with her. So why don't you go ahead and say hi, guys. Here, Peanut. Oh, Peanut. He doesn't like being held. Oh, go ahead and grab him. But they're here in the room with us. Uh, Peanut has, I'm trying to think of the name of it. Stubby tail. He has a stubby tail. Um, he has that shaky, that wobbly cat syndrome sometimes but um yeah I got him when he was a kitten he was almost starving to death I adopted or fostered him from a place nearby and adopted him obviously um yeah we're not gonna get into how I feel about that place but he's no longer malnourished he's doing just fine he's just a little weird special. and special <laughs> that's okay I'm good at picking cats like that um so I'm just gonna get into it with showing you guys my empties. First thing I have to share is a giant thing of Gain. This is my favorite detergent and it's in Moonlight Breeze. Next item I'm gonna share with you guys is Downy Fresh Protect and this is the beads. I finished a big ass Costco thing. Holy cow, that um, huge. Haven't used it in a while. And then the other detergent thing is a non-concentrate snuggle. It's for like smaller loads. And I've actually been using this a lot lately, so I may have more in the future. Most of everything else is going to be hygiene related. And I will let you guys know who went through it, how we went through it. My sisters did not send any empties right now. But like I, like I had previously said, I'm doing this about every two weeks or so just to get stuff moving. First item that I have is Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub in Coconut Lime. This is really nice. I love the tree shut, the tree shut, tree hut, shea sugar scrubs. Uh, I didn't really care for the scent right now, and that's because it's winter time. But this is a nice, refreshing coconut lime, so I might repurchase at some point, and it would be really nice during the summer time. So there was some, I, I think there's some Bath and Body Work products like a year ago or so that I used that were really refreshing during the summer time. So I think this would go well with them. Next item, sorry if this is like kind of gross, but this is the shampoo. This is Super Repair Bedhead Resurrection. I finished the conditioner not long ago. This was in my shower for an eternity, but now it's gone. So that's why the top is kind of funky. But uh, this is one of my favorite shampoos. My hairdresser used to use it and it smells kind of like candy and it works well for my hair. Next, we have a Dr. Teal's Pink Himalayan Body Wash, and Sita finished this in the hallway bathroom. Um, every time she goes through like a shower gel or a shower wash or whatever, I just give her a new one from my collection. One that'll work for her and one that I don't mind giving her. Uh, I went through an Olay Fresh Outlast, and this is in Peach and Cherry Blossom. I really enjoyed this. It, again, it would be something for more like a spring, summer, but it was really nice, and I just... I've been having kind of basic shower gels in there for items that from Bath and Body Works they don't have a shower gel too. So this worked really well and I wanted to go ahead and finish it. Sita is still kind of fighting off a cold. I'm trying. Next I went through a Dickinson's Pore Perfecting Toner. I do need to buy more of this. Usually I buy the Walmart brand but they didn't have it when I purchased this so I got this one. I am completely out right now and... I've just been using like face wipes on my face before I put my um, skincare on. I don't do a huge skincare routine or anything for myself. I do use face masks pretty often before taking a shower and that's pretty much it. And then I just uh, either use this or a face wipe and lotion. Uh, I keep it pretty basic because I guess I'm just a basic bitch. Um, but yeah, this I really do love. This one and the Walmart brand Hazel or Witch Hazel like this. So either one works for me. I just haven't used it in a while. Next, we have the cold and flu that me and my husband finished when we were sick. Um, last week, we had a cold uh, over the weekend and everyone was kind of miserable. But I'm feeling better. He's feeling much better. And Sid has still got a cough, but otherwise she's fine. Yeah. I went through a Dove Sensitive and this is another soap bar. Let's see. 
I also went through a winter candy apple gentle foaming hand soap and I just needed to use at least one Christmas one. I have other Christmas ones, but not that many. So I at least wanted to try using that. I do like winter candy apple, not a favorite, but I do like it. The notes are red apple, winter rose petals and candied orange. I actually have some I need to use up, so I might be using it pretty soon. We'll have to wait and see. Then, let's see, before I get into the lotions, we've got uh, Too Gourd To Be True Pumpkin Apple Hand Sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. I love the, the handbags. If you can't tell already, I have a bunch behind me. I also finished a Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Shower Gel, and this is one of my top 10 favorite scents. Um, it is very strong and very gourmand, so if you do not like gourmand stuff, I do, I do not suggest it. The notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. So I really do love this one. I don't want to overuse it or underuse it because I, you know, I want to use it, but I don't want to uh, make myself sick of it. So that's why I only use one set of it right now. And I also have the lotion for pumpkin pecan waffles, and I think this is from last year, the year before. Um, I do prefer lotion over creams. We'll get into that in a minute. And the notes are the same as the shower gel. And the last but not least item that I have is a Christmas cookies body cream. And the notes for this are creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. So this one is very, very strong. It's very heavy, very deep. Um, I was getting kind of sick of it. That's why I started using the pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, it also got pretty yellow. This is last year's and it was really yellow. So I had to make a point of you know, making sure I used it so it didn't go completely bad. And when they turn yellow, it doesn't mean that they're always bad. So long as it doesn't smell funny and it isn't like goopy, you're fine. I didn't have any issues with that with this one, but you know, it, it would leave a little bit of yellowing. So I made sure that I was wearing darker clothing when I did use this. So I didn't stain any of my clothes. Other than that, um, it worked just fine. It just took me a while longer to get through it because of the color and because it was so strong and I was getting kind of sick of the same scent. So I started alternating until I finished both. But that is it for my hygiene empties. And I will see you a probably in a few minutes. I don't know. It depends on you. But I do have a small Bath and Body Works haul and I'll see you soon. Bye.